Hey everybody, this is Bart with Extreme Para, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a diamond knot or lanyard knot. What you'll need is some cord. I have, happen to have like a couple of feet here that I've doubled over and I've made a loop. They're even. So what you want to do is take that loop, put it around your index finger, and that'll create a left hand cord and a right hand cord going around your finger like that. So you've got a left hand cord and a right hand cord. We're going to need to remember those. Also we're going to have to remember that anything that is close to our hand is below the knot. Anything that is away from our hand is above the knot. So what we're going to do to make this is we're going to start with the right hand cord and we're going to create a reverse loop where the loop goes behind itself and we're going to put that over the left cord okay just like that I kind of hold it with my thumb just like that then what you want to do is take and reach in to that loop that's going over the left hand cord and pull the left hand cord through it just a little bit just maybe a an inch or so enough to pass your thumb through see okay from here what we're going to do is we're going to take the left hand cord we're going to go behind the right hand cord and we're going to come up and through that loop okay and then we're going to pull it we're going to make sure it goes behind the right hand cord and that is going to cr produce what's called a Carrick bend and in the Carrick bend we have a diamond in the middle. That's what we're looking for. We're going to work with that next. Okay, at this point, remember b below the knot, we have our cord going around our finger. Okay? And there's a left hand part to that and a right hand part to that. So this is the left hand part, this is the right hand part. So we're going to take the right cord, we're going to go below the knot, closest to our hand, and we're going to come up through the center diamond with our cord right there. See? Now remember I've gone around the left hand side of the cord below the knot and I'm coming up up and through the hole. Okay? Not tight, just like that. And let it sit there. Now take the left hand cord Take the left hand cord, go below the right hand cord, look below it, and then we're going to go, we're actually going around, below the knot we're going around the left hand cord, and we're coming up through that hole, through that diamond, the same way we did the other cord. Okay? Now we have both cords coming through the middle, like that. Now. The key to making this knot work is a little bit of patience, taking your time when you tighten it up. You don't just yank it. If you yank it, you'll get a, a cluster that'll be hard to work. What you want to do is gently pull, right? Maybe squeeze it a little bit to keep it round. Just gently pull on it, and it'll start to tighten up. Now you're going to see some spots where you need to work it a little bit. See like right here, you can see it's open in there, it's not really tight. Okay, so working counterclockwise, those go to those are the the cords that go towards the bottom or are our cut ends. Working clockwise, we get the ones that go towards the loop. So in this case, we're going to just tighten these up working counterclockwise like that and there we have our diamond knot now if you wanted if you needed to move it up or down the the length what you could do is if you say needed to move it up an inch what you would do is you would push these in each one working one at a time a half an inch work the knot through and pull a half inch down the bottom and then the same here and then that'll make it so that you keep equal lengths at the bottom
Okay? And that is how we tie a diamond knot. Hope, it, hope that helps, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Have a good day.